The trough gusher pushes water through the trough, which propels food waste down into the grinding chamber. What's unique about the trough gusher is the fact that it uses some of the gray water left over by the dish machine and belt wash system. Recycling the gray water from these systems not only repurposes water that would normally be going down the drain, but it also cuts the amount of fresh water needed in the trough system by 20 to 30 percent. This is what's beautiful about the dish machine and byline system. Everything is designed together to save you time, labor, utilities, and of course money. The only time you should ever have to approach the clean dish table is whenever it is completely full. This is due to the fact that you are required to wash your hands every time you go between the soiled and clean dish racks. The slow speed grinder is a proven system that is widely used in wastewater treatment facilities as a commutator prior to pumping. It is a robust, low maintenance device. By spinning slowly, it eliminates high vibrations and drastically reduces noise. The combination of shredding and extracting reduces the utility requirements, which used to be 17 horsepower down to 7. That's a 60% decrease. When you wish to turn off the system, simply press the red button on the console. The system will then go through an auto wash down process. Here are some comparisons to the older pulpers. The old pulpers use high speeds, which means they wear and tear much faster than our new slow grind system. The old pulpers, blades, and cutters would have to be replaced and maintained much more frequently than our slow grind system. The old pulpers also have high vibrations, which create high sound levels, while our slow grind system is extremely quiet, under 60 decibels, keeping the noise levels comfortable for your kitchen staff. That is a 60% reduction from the standard pulpers. With older pulpers, you will need a much more expensive installation due to the fact that they use a return line to keep the pulper grinder filled with water, among other things. Daily cleaning is labor intensive with the old pulpers, whereas cleaning this system is a breeze. The screen in the centrifuge on older pulpers is stationary. This means that it will eventually build up a coat of grime that you will have to manually clean off. The centrifuge on this new system, however, has the screen and screw spinning in the same direction at different speeds. This means that it is much less likely for the screen to develop any sort of grime coat and allows the stationary rinse system to wash the entire screen. The food waste enters the centrifuge via the gravity feeder. A unique characteristic of this machine is that the screen spins 50 RPMs faster than the screw and at higher speeds than typical extractors, which provides more efficient dewatering and provides a drier pulp. This feature prevents grime buildup on the screen and enhances the automatic washdown process that is activated when turning off the machine. Upon entering the machine, the food waste is spun at high speeds to separate the solids from the liquids. This process will take the waste to about 60 to 65 percent dryness. To further dehydrate the waste for prolonged storage or for more efficient transportation of the waste, feed the waste from the centrifuge to a dehydrator like the one shown here. You could transfer the waste directly into a trash receptacle as well. The reason we call this a remote system is because we can have the grinding chamber in one spot and the extractor anywhere from 10 feet away to 200 feet away. The installation of the remote system is another thing that really sets it apart from other systems. It uses a one-way gravity-fed piping system, which means it does not require a high-pressure return line. One only has to pump the water up high enough to be gravity-fed to the centrifuge. By using this design, you only have to use one set of supported PVC pipes, which is over two-thirds cheaper than the two-way pressurized copper piping that other systems use.